Welcome back to Easy Concrete Supply University, episode three. Uh, myself, Cameron Garver, and Cody Toland here. We're going to talk to you a little bit about a repair product that's a very popular seller. Uh, it is our PECF Fast. Now, this product is going to be a thicker consistency, a lot similar to like a putty, if you will. Uh, there is a polyurea crack repair that we sell that is a one to one ratio and it is a very low viscosity product. This is different. Why don't you tell them a little bit about the sorts of fractures and things they use to repair with this product? Yeah, well really any structural crack that you're going to encounter in the concrete, this is this is perfect for. Uh, you just take a putty knife and you just smooth it into the affected area. Now this is going to come into play more for like solid color floors or metallic floors. The last episode was the liquid one. Uh, this one will not shadow or ghost through. So you'll have a very seamless, very good finish uh, for anything you put over top of this particular crack filler. If you did happen to use like a poly, a polyurea based on like a metallic, you'll actually, it'll swell up and react to the epoxy and you can tell exactly where you did repairs. So this product's great in that regard and it's not too expensive in terms of cost per gallon. But you're gonna wanna be very particular about how you order this product. You're not gonna use it a lot on flake floors. Uh, some guys do prefer to use it on flake floors. The benefit is that you can actually put this product in, then you can go right over it with wet epoxy about 45 minutes later. Uh, so we're going to actually do a demonstration on this product, how to use it on a cut uh, in a concrete. And if you guys have any questions, please hit the link below, email us, let us know. But we're going to go ahead out and do that now. So as you can see, this crack in the concrete right here uh, is definitely going to need to be filled before any uh, coating or anything like that is applied to it. If it's not, you're just going to be dumping product in that area and uh, just end up wasting a lot of stuff. So this particular crack filler is gonna be two parts A to one part B. Uh, it, it's epoxy base, it's just thickened up. Um, so it's gonna be the same mix re mixing ratio as just about any other epoxy. So the way we mix it up, and it does take a little bit of work, uh, but uh, you use a putty knife and uh, two little squat cups and you just mix it until it's one uh, solid consistency. So we're gonna go ahead and, and do that. So as I'm sure most of you guys know, a lot of times the part A in epoxy is going to be like your, your resin, your part B is going to be your hardener. So once you get this introduced, the curing process is actually going to begin. Um, so just spend a good minute or two mixing this up, like I said, until it's one solid color. Um, and then we'll go ahead and apply it to the floor. So you can see it's one solid color. Just take a little bit on your putty knife. Uh, now, ideally, you have a piece of cardboard or a paper plate or something that's going to uh, allow you to scrape this off. I'm just going to use that other squat cup, but you just get it in to that area and just keep pulling it until you get it completely filled. You want to make sure that you don't have any high spots or anything like that sticking up. You want to make this as seamless to the floor as uh, as possible. So if it is uh, you know, piled up like that when it's cured, you will have to sand it down. Um, so that's an extra step that's, you know, you don't really need to take. So as you guys can see, the product has its applications. It has a lot of benefits. Uh, you can fix larger structural cracks due to the fact that it's more of a putty consistency. Uh, the product, there is a link below that you can actually go directly to see the tech data. And there's going to be another link that you can actually go to purchase the product too. But if you have any questions, feel free to give us all a call here at Easy Concrete Supply. Uh, Cody, you got anything to add? Nope, not at all. All right. Well, thanks guys. Have a great day.